What's up, everybody, and welcome to the Justin Ford Podcast, where I'll be releasing life-changing principles and valuable information focused on all things faith, finance, family, fitness, real estate, and so much more. Let's go! What's up, everybody, and welcome back to another episode of the Justin Ford Unleashed podcast. Super excited to be with you here today. Hopefully, you've been doing great since the last episode. If you're loving the show, do me a favor. Go ahead and hit the subscribe button here on YouTube, or you can subscribe to your favorite podcast platform. And if you really love the show, go ahead and leave us a five-star review. If you haven't followed me yet on social media, you can at the official Justin Ford. Again, at the official Justin Ford. You can find me on Facebook, Instagram, LinkedIn, Twitter, TikTok, and also YouTube. Got a great episode in store for you today, a special Mother's Day episode in store for you today. But before we get to that, uh, I wanted to remind you that this this episode is brought to you by my friends over at Nextdoor Lending. Nextdoor Lending is a team of professionals that believe everyone should be treated as if they live next door. The founders and team members have more than 150 years of combined experience helping clients all over the country choose the best loan program and terms. If you're looking to buy or sell a home, or you're looking to refinance your next home, call my friends over at Nextdoor Lending today at 888-885-3667 or visit their website at nextdoorlending.com. Guys, this is live. This is real. This isn't just like recorded and thrown into a recording. And so sometimes there's a little bit of that happens here on the show. Welcome to this Mother's Day edition to the number one mother in the world, Joy Ford. Our mom. No, you're the number one mother. Thank you. You're my favorite mother. I mean, my mother's great, but you mother my children. Okay, mother your children. Okay, I was just laughing, thinking about Mother's Day weekend coming up and how, like, in mothers' minds, like, this is funny because men don't realize, like, mothers who have kids, it's like, what we think of Mother's Day to be or a mother's weekend or a mother's whatever, it's like going to the spa with no kids going to lunch with no kids going to a trip going on a weekend trip with no kids and then mother's day is like oh let's have a barbecue you have to cook (laughs) (laughs) so i laughed with some of my friends because it's like and i was we were with a couple agents a few years a few weeks ago we talked about oh mother's day is coming up what do you have planned and they're like older agents and they're like you know there's nothing planned it's always about them this generation is all about them as a mom i laughed i'm like oh my gosh i am that generation but i see their i see their like they're worried about it because they are still like, we still have moms that if you still have a mom that like lives on earth and like you love, like it is about them. Right. It really is like, yeah. I'm, I'm still young. I have years to yeah. be no, celebrated as a mom, you know? So it is about our yeah, your we, mom, my mom, yeah, like the in-laws, the mothers. And like, I still do, I still like to do something special, whether it's my girlfriends or whatever it looks like, or with Tierra, like, I don't know with my daughters, whatever, where, you know, just like a little spotty and go get nails done. Like that's fine. Like I can still have, I have a great Mother's Day. I can just do it outside of Mother's Day day. Right, yeah, day you know, day. You just don't do it on yeah, the Mother's Day. You don't have day. to do it, yeah, that day. Mm-hmm. Yeah, so obviously we celebrate our moms because mm-hmm. it's Mother's Day, but then our kids celebrate you. Yeah, yeah, it, we <clears> do. <throat> and it's funny because Mother's Day is normally like my sister's birthday is that same weekend. Judah's, Judah's birthday, birthday. It's all about, it's really about Judah. I don't really like care for Mother's Day because it's his birthday weekend of Mother's Day. Right. Well, I mean, it's his birth. It's not a birthday weekend. I it's mean, his birthday is on the 13th and then yeah. Mother's Day. And then Mother's so Day. It's like, so it's like a pretty busy, pretty busy week. Coming yeah. Up. Or, you know, pretty busy. Week. Yeah. This is a big birthday for Judah too. I know double digits and I actually Ten. when we were planning his party I was like oh my gosh he wants to go to this very germy place that's gonna smell like a zoo what's the name of it urban air urban air and there's not too many urban airs the only one that's close to us is like in Livonia and mm-hmm. like it's so busy it smells smelly like it's just it smells like dirty feet yeah all kinds of stuff like armpits, like I don't even know. These kids don't bathe for weeks and then come. I but don't they really love understand. It. They, love, they it. love these places. And I decided to do a party at 10 a.m. My sister's like, I'm still having coffee. 
why you're having a party that early because it's not so busy. Nobody's really and up. It's at probably 10 clean at that point, right? Yeah. They, so it's like it's by later on in the day that it smells like and it's packed and you're waiting to like do the bounce thing or do the ropes climbing, whatever. So I and Judah's an early bird anyway. So like and all those all the kids are up early normally. Yeah, Ten a.m. is not that early. I mean, we get, get up, up at school. like five six. You know, five thirty six every day. Yeah. So uh, speaking of Mother's Day weekend, it's like it's normally a pretty busy weekend anyways, but I'm excited to celebrate our moms and, um, you know, if you have a mom, you know, celebrate them, you know, take them to eat, go get your nails done together. I think I'm over, it's like, um, it's overrated to go like go eat all the time, but like getting nails done, just making them feel special. Yeah. Bringing them flowers. So speaking of Mother's Day, you didn't even know that I did this, but I wrote down a few questions for you about Mother's Day. I love when you throw questions that I'm not prepared for. Yeah. Okay. I, is, I really don't, but I'm excited to see what. What is one thing that you love about your mom? Oh my gosh, he wants to make me cry. Well, it's, it's okay. Mother's Day. I. What I love about my mom, <laughs> <laughs> I love her cooking. She does cook good. She, Mexican love, food. Yes, and it, it's like one of those things where it's like. Even growing up, it was always like she had, she always cooked great Mexican food on a Sunday after church or she'd like miss church to go to the Mexican store to get the food and we'd go to church. We'd be like, oh my gosh, excited to go home and eat like this great food. Yeah. So I love her Mexican cooking and she loves to make the same like German chocolate cake for dessert. Mm-hmm. She's like the same thing. She doesn't like to like bake all kinds of stuff. She just does the same one or two things. That's it. Yeah. And I love that because um, I... Okay. What, what the heck? You're allowed to cry. Go ahead. <laughs> um, I love my mom. I love her heart. I love her cooking that she does for Mexican yeah. food. Um, I love that she has always been there for me. Yeah. And my mom's still alive. Like she's gonna hear this. Be like, what the heck? <laughs> it's like she's gone. Yeah. But I love. She, I mean, even in my toughest time, she was there for me. So she's never like shamed me. She was like would pick me up where I was not supposed to be and like just be there, like yeah. knowing that I was doing the wrong thing at the right, wrong time. And she'd be like, I'm coming to get you. Let's go have lunch or yeah. Hey, come with me here. Like she never, she never shamed me. She never just ignored what I was doing during my rough season. Yeah. And so, um, thinking about moms, it's like moms truly love us. Like right. our moms truly like sacrifice a lot for us growing yeah. up. And, um, not that you dads don't, you do it in a different it's way, different, but moms yeah. like love and compassion for us and grace for us is like crazy. Yeah. Like the things I think about, like, oh my God, I cannot believe I was doing these things. Like, and she still was there for me. It's like, she could have left me in the way. So I'm like, fair enough to tell you, like, but she was always there. So that I love that about my mom, that she was always supportive, mm-hmm. even when I knew she didn't have to be, Yeah, you know? Yep. Even when you came and asked for my, uh, my hand in marriage, I mean, my, uh, you know, I'm sure it, they, it was crazy because you barely knew me right. or them. And my mom was like, oh, he seems nice. Yeah. <laughs> like she didn't really question much. I was like, yeah. yeah. So, yeah. Yeah. No. And I think, you know, I even see our kids and I think there's just a different type of bond that kids have with their mom. Yeah. And, 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 and I know that some people might be listening and saying, I don't have a great relationship with my mom. So they might look at mother's day as a hard thing Yeah, because not everybody looks at their mom the way you do or the way I do. Some people have had a rough relationship with their mom or no relationship with their mom. So we understand that mother's day can be great for some and tough for other people. And so, and I, and I even want to say, not just my mom, my, even my mother-in-law, like getting married, in the beginning, like she's taught me so much, like how to organize the kitchen, how to like organize things in general. She cooks so many food. She bakes the most amazing cakes. Like, you know, like my mom and your mom, like I'm blessed to have both of them, both of these mothers in my, in my life and in our, in our lives, because they, they have special gifts that I'm thankful for. I didn't like, I, it's not a relationship where it's like, you know, bad or anything like that. Like I just, each one of them have just special gifts that I am thankful for. Yeah. Yeah. One thing that I love about my mom is she, she's the biggest heart. She does have the biggest heart. And so I'll say it's kind (laughs) of like, it's a, it's the thing I love, but it's also the thing that kind of irritates me in a good way. But (laughs) like, like she, she loves so much, but then she like, even as I'm 40 years old is so like, overprotective yeah like 
what do you mean you're going to Detroit? You know, don't, don't go down there. You got to be safe. Or, you know, it's like always just like worried about stuff. And I'm like, mom, listen, I'm 40. I'm not 12, but, but it's her heart, right? Yeah. Naturally to well, love to and sure to, yeah. And to have, so I love that about my mom that not only for me and, and my sisters, but just for people in general, that she really does have a heart, yeah. you know, that loves and, and she cares, you know, mm-hmm. for people. And she goes out of her way to, you know, to help people when they need it. And she's sure. helped us. I mean, we, when she we lost be, everything, uh, yeah, you know, she let us move into her house for mm-hmm. six months, which wasn't easy. Mm. But, you know, she did that for us. And she's always she's always helped when help was needed. Yes. So appreciate you, mom. Thank you for that. Um, what's one thing that you love about being a mom? Or what's your favorite thing about being a mom? My favorite thing about being a mom is um, seeing each one of my children's children be like their unique qualities and like helping them grow that like because they're each different. And so I never, I mean, being a mom, I never knew every kid is different and every kid has different strengths and different weaknesses and just helping them maneuver through that um, different, each one of them differently. So I love that about being a mom is recognizing them and their their characteristics, their weaknesses, their strengths, the things they love, the things they can't stand, and just doing those things they enjoy together and helping them in their weaknesses and just encouraging them when they're having a hard time in that history class that they can't stand. Like it just knowing, you know, the things they love, hate, enjoy, and can't stand. And I just love helping them maneuver, maneuver through all that. Yeah. Yeah. And, and you, you're a great mom. You know, I look at our kids and, you know, how you've, you've done such a great job and I think there is that difference between a dad and a mom, right? The mom is usually the more compassionate one, Mm -hmm. the more patient one, the one that is, you know, able to like be there and listen, you know Mm -hmm. what I mean? When, when somebody's going through something, right? Like, and I know you have a great relationship with, with the kids and, and they'll go to you first when, when it comes to that, you know what it is. (laughs) <laughs> no, I, th- I think they pretty much go to you more. But what would you say to, you know, those that are, are maybe, you know, struggling right now? Because I know, like, there's some people's mom already passed away or some people's moms are not mm. here. Or maybe this is just a difficult time, you yeah, know, for some people. Ones. Or, or just, just or know. just in general. Yeah, having little ones, maybe feeling like as a mother, it's hard, right? Because, I mean, being a mom's oh. got to be hard. So talk about that. I mean... Yeah, it's hard. I mean, if you have kids, you're up the same time every day while they're in school. Um, but it's beautiful. It's a beautiful thing, too. It's like watching flowers be planted and grown. And as moms, it can be very hard. It's beautiful, hard. It's amazing. It's not amazing. Like, there's so many, like, things that go on being a mom, especially as your kids are growing you know, they're little, they're babies, they do no harm, they're toddlers, they're in everything, pulling everything, breaking everything, saying the funniest things. They become young kids in their junior high years, and it's all weird, things smell, they're like, eh, dirty feet, whatever, and um, then they become teenagers. Like, there's just so many stages that, as a mom, I don't think we're ever equipped to handle it all. I don't know how we handle it all, but it's, just, as, especially when you're a new mom, um, when you're having kids for the first time, you don't know what to expect. And it's like, it's a roller coaster of events, emotions, things that happen. And I don't know how God made us moms to handle all this, but we do. And you do. Yeah. Moms (laughs) are definitely um, special. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah. It's, it's, you know, cause I, and I think that I think society doesn't value not all society, but I think a mother, like I remember when I used to think, well, you're, you're just staying home with the kids all day, right? How hard could have today oh my been when gosh, I, gosh, that would go under my skin, <laughs> <laughs> just, just home, <laughs> just home with the kids until joy was like, Hey, I'm going on a trip. I'll be back in four days. Cause you went to like one of the <laughs> retreats or whatever. And I'm like, Oh my gosh. Came home, Judah had, Judah probably needed a stitch. <laughs> he didn't get the stitch. Like it was, it was crazy. Right. Cause it's like dinner picking them up, dropping them off if they have to go to school, um, snacks, homework. snacks, homework, laundry, showers, and then everything else that kind of goes along with that. And I'm just like, help, help. 
Come no, you home. do a great. You did a great job. No, I know, but I, I realized how difficult it was, and even the now the dogs. Yeah, now the dogs. But <laughs> I think I even looked it up years ago. Of if you had to put a salary on a stay-at-home mom, it was like one hundred and fifty grand a year. Really? Like if you had to like if you were paying like a nanny or somebody. No, no, no. Home. If mm-hmm. a mother, a stay-at-home mom, was actually a job or career like, yeah. that was had an income attached to it, it'd be about one hundred and fifty grand a year. Wow. Yeah. yeah. And there's all kinds of moms. I mean, there's moms that stay home. There's moms that are working, moms that are businesswomen, moms that, you know, you hire someone that runs everything at home. And every one of the moms are great. Like, we all have to do what we're called to do, whatever that way that looks like. And so, you know, I've gone through phases of being a stay at home mom when the kids were little. And poor, my poor Judah's never really had full homemade meals <laughs> now that I've been working. But, I did that all when the kids were little and I enjoyed it and um, I would take them places and do things, go to the library and all that. And I enjoyed that. And so, you know, we honor moms that are stay at home. We honor moms that are working full time or part time or whatever it looks like because it's a tough job. Yeah. And we forget ourselves sometimes. But um, I've learned recently as my kids are growing up old or older um, that it's not selfish to take time for yourself like every day and whatever that looks like. It's not because if I'm not well, I'm not doing what I need for myself for that day. Nobody's well. No. And, and the family can feel it. So if I'm not doing something for myself, for me, it's working out then, or going to the gym, whatever. Um, then I, it, it, it messes with my feelings and my emotions and just all of that. And so we need that. I don't care what kind of mom, like, I don't care if you love to just have donuts all day. It doesn't matter. Like you, everybody, I really believe every woman needs to be doing something physically every day. Yeah. Even if it's walking, mm-hmm. fresh air, like it's in us to you. do that because we can just be so run down so quickly with everything. And husbands yeah. or, or men, fathers, give your wife the opportunity to do that. Right. Yeah. Because it's yeah. like if if the husband or the dad is never helping, it's kind of hard for a, a wife and a mom to take time for herself, right? Yeah. Yeah, it is. But, you know, <coughs> we it's like we're cut for it. We Who's cut. cut for it? We, us moms, we're cut for the job. Oh, you are, but you got to take time. Yeah, you're right. It's important. Yep. So <coughs> I'm excited about. Wrong pipe, sorry. Please don't have a choking problem here. <laughs> so I'm excited about Mother's Day coming up. It's beautiful. Flowers are growing. I love yep. bringing my mom's flowers. And yeah. just, it's, I don't know. Yeah, it's, a, it's it's fun. And I think that you should celebrate moms more than just one day. It should be every day. It should be Mother's Day. Oh, that's nice of you to say that. Yeah, I mean, it's one day a year. You guys should be celebrated every day. I do celebrate myself every day, actually. But, I mean, you should be <laughs> celebrated every day, not celebrate yourself every day. Okay. You should do that, too, though. Yeah? Yeah. That's nice. Yeah, I agree. But, yes, if you have your moms here, enjoy the weekend. Have a great lunch, brunch, nails, whatever, stopping at the stores or whatever it is, sewing yeah. together. Enjoy it. Yeah, enjoy your weekend with your mom. And if you don't have a mom, you know, find another friend who doesn't have another mom and do something together. Right. You know. Yeah. You know, um, you just have to find other things to do or celebrate another mom, maybe your friend's mom. Right. You know, or your family, your, you know, someone you know's mom who's still alive and you yeah. love them, enjoy them. Yeah. You know, there's other ways to enjoy Mother's Day, not if you don't have a mom. Yeah. You know, so. Absolutely. So I want to end with reading this, this poem. It's there a mother. Any more questions? Nope, that was it. Oh, okay. It's a Mother's Day poem. And then. I want you to close a prayer, do a Mother's Day prayer, okay. you know, for those that are, are out there. So here's, here's the Mother's Day poem. It says, Dear Mother, I'm writing you to tell you that I love you, something I hardly ever do. I never tell you enough how much I love you, and it's something I must do. I need to let you know, Mother, how much you really mean to me. So I'm telling you now you mean the world to me. I need to thank you for all you do for me. Your unconditional love toward me means a lot to me. You've never turned your back on me, and I know it's something you'll never do. Anytime I need someone to talk to, you're always there to help me through. And anytime I need a favor, you always seem to be there too. There's nothing in this world that I could do to pay you back for all you do. When God gave me to you, that's the best thing he could ever do. So this poem is dedicated to you because I don't know how else to say thank you. Oh, 
that's beautiful. So that's to all of you awesome mothers out there. Joy, if you want to pray. Yes, I'd love to have you yeah. pray. God, we thank you for this week coming up. We thank you for Mother's Day. God, we thank you for the blessing of mothers. And I just pray that you would just bless each mother this weekend. Let them feel extra special and loved and um, know that, Lord, they are doing all that you've called them to do. God, I thank you that you've given us strength, a sound mind. Lord, you've given us joy. You've given us peace. And, Lord, I just pray that you would just continue to give us all those things, Lord, as we um, go into the summertime as well and just another year, Lord, as being a mother, Lord, I pray that you would bless each mom that is listening, bless each grandma, and um, even those that couldn't be a mom, I pray that you just bless them as well, uh, Lord, the, the moms that are moms of animals. and <laughs> um, I just pray that you would allow everybody to feel your peace and your joy and just have a beautiful weekend in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. Amen. So happy Mother's Day to all of you yes, out happy there. Mother's Day. If you're a kid and or you have a mother, make sure you celebrate her uh, this week and weekend. And uh, definitely thank you for tuning in to another episode. This episode is brought to you by my friends over at Nextdoor Lending. This Nextdoor Lending is not just a sponsor. Guys, these are our personal lenders that we send all of our buyers to. This is the lender we personally use. Nextdoor Lending is a, uh, a an all-star team of professionals, over 100 and 50 years of combined experience, guys. And not only that, they serve at a high level, over 700 five-star reviews, a perfect A-plus Better Business Bureau rating. This is who I trust with my clients, and this is who you should trust with your clients. If you're a real estate agent and you're looking for a great lender, call my friends over at Nextdoor Lending. If you are a buyer and you need to be pre-approved and you want to buy a house, call my friends over at Nextdoor Lending. If you're a homeowner and you need to refinance your home, call my friends over at Nextdoor Lending today at 888-885-3667 or visit their website at nextdoorlending.com. Guys, if you love the episode, go ahead and sit, hit the subscribe button. You can subscribe here on YouTube. You can also subscribe on your favorite podcast platform. Uh, if you're really loving the show, go ahead and leave us a five-star review. If you want to follow me on social media, you can at the official Justin Ford, at the official Justin Ford. You can find me on Facebook, Instagram, LinkedIn, Twitter, TikTok, and here on YouTube. You can also find my lovely wife, Joy Ford, on social media. You can follow us at Justin and Joy Ford. Real, run uncut, because this was a real, raw, and uncut edition of the Justin Ford Unleashed podcast. I'll leave you with two things as I always do. Number one, it's not how you start. What matters is how you finish. And number two, with God, all things are possible. God bless you guys. Thanks for tuning in. Happy Mother's Day, and we'll see you on the next one.